everybody, it's 2019 and we're open today. Uh, I figured I would take this chance to answer some of your questions. We're going to be taking things to the next level here in the new year. Got some big plans. I can't announce them all because some of them aren't finalized, but you're going to see some exciting things happen with Liberty Tree Guns, some big changes. Um, so we're definitely not going anywhere. We're going to be expanding some of the things we do, but I wanted to go live and take some of your questions, show you some of the things that we have in stock today. <laughs> Folks might assume that we've been closed on New Year's. We decided to take New Year's Eve off, make it a three-day weekend, and get back in here today. So if you have any questions, if you want to just see some inventory in the store, just post it in the comments and I will do my best to answer those questions. Um, but We've got uh, a few things left over from our Christmas sale that we're going to continue. Uh, one of those being the buy one, get one free hollow point 9mm 45 on the uh, Spear Gold Dots. And there's a little bit of critical defense over there and some SIG uh, hollow points, the V Crown. So get in here and get. Uh, Buy one, get one, self-defense ammo. You know to see those kind of specials anyway. So uh, we have that going. Uh, there are some of the other Christmas promotions that we still have inventory for. So check out the Christmas flyer. And if we still have that item, I'll honor those uh, Christmas flyer prices. But uh, as you can see, we expanded the store this year we took out what used to be the classroom uh, and we've added all these cases if you shoot down and get those cases uh, we've added basically 33 percent more to the store uh, we've got a shotgun rack in the back we've got uh, all of these are, are uh, from some of our price point ARs down to new and used bolt guns. If you're just looking for the first time, the way that we do uh, our tags is green tags are all used inventory. And we have uh, the largest selection of used inventory in the area. Uh, hundreds of used guns that are all priced uh, either below normal wholesale cost or uh, even lower than that. The, uh, we've got a lot of interesting use military surplus and collectible guns. If you haven't sort of checked out our new website, our new website's different than our old one in the fact that it's live, up to date, almost in perfect live time. So uh, if we take a gun in on trade or we get some hard to get thing on consignment, when you go to LibertyTreeGuns.com and you click uh, Fresh Arrivals, those guns are going to be there. And so if you've been looking for something or you're just on the hunt for unique stuff, uh, check that out and you can put the gun on layaway right there on our website. You can make an offer on it. You can buy it and then pick it up later or we can ship it. Our layaway works. Uh, let's go back over here. Uh, our layaway is good not only for local customers, but if you follow us online and you find something that you would like to uh, you get your hands on you don't have all the cash you can do a layaway right on our website make the payments um, you know at your own pace and then we'll ship the gun after you pay it off so but, you know we get a lot of cool old stuff old Smith & Wesson revolvers old Berettas uh, most of the guns just things that you can't just necessarily uh, find on the market at all all the time and uh, you know, it's 20% down, 60 days to pay. There's no extra fees, totally free layaway. Uh, we don't charge you anything to do that. And as soon as you pay it off, whether you pay it off in a week or on the 59th or 60th day, uh, we'll ship it out to you. Our uh, long gun shipping rates are flat, uh, $35. Our handgun is $25. And uh, depending on the deal, you know, if you see used inventory and it's not a consignment, you can uh, sometimes, we'll make a deal with you to ship that for free. So we're pretty flexible. Also, if you have messaged the page with an offer or um, 
or just a Facebook message. We're behind. We're trying to catch up on that today. We're checking in a ton of used guns that we took in on trade over the weekend. We've got a huge pile back there, so please bear with us. We have not um, forgotten you or ignored you, but uh, we just haven't gotten caught up. So we will go through and answer those messages as soon as we get time. Just wanted to make a Happy New Year announcement and uh, and let you know that we're open today. We'll be open normal hours, 10 to 6. So come in and, and uh, see us and see some of our expanded selection if you haven't seen it yet. Got any questions, Trevor? No questions. Uh, we got at least some viewers on there. Guys, if you have any questions, you can just say, do you have one of these? And I'll go look for it and we'll talk about it if you want to. Uh, the... Uh, we canceled the December class uh, for concealed carry just uh, because it, they were calling for a bunch of snow and then it turned out we didn't get any, but uh, concealed carry is still available if you got a voucher for Christmas. Uh, just go to libertyguns.com, click training, uh, you can see when our dates are, you can book a class right there. Uh, concealed carry is still an important thing to have your permit, even though they have decriminalized. Uh, carrying concealed without a permit in more parts of the state. It's uh, good to have for reciprocity if you travel to other states. Uh, and, it's, uh, and it's good to make sure that you're protected both civilly and in, uh, inside of city ordinances. If you, uh, if you travel inside a municipality that has some restrictions on carrying. We have a question. What's our question? Daniel <clears throat> is asking about a Ruger new Vaquero stainless in 357. I definitely have one on the way. If I don't have one here, I've got a couple uh, different single action stainless guns, and I'm pretty sure one's a Vaquero. Let's go see if we have one. I ordered about 22 different full size revolvers, right? ranging from GP 100s to that big order was all Ruger, so we had some SP 101s. Um, here's a Ruger Vaquero in um, 45 Long Colt. That's the Bisley version. Uh, don't have the Vaquero in 357 today, but I do believe it shipped late last week, so it may not move in transit today, Daniel, but. It will be getting here probably tomorrow if I had to guess. And we do have a cool birdie in uh, 357 mag. So check back, we'll have that in a day or two. Uh, any other guns that we'd like to see? Uh, no, but Richard wants to know about a concealed carry law refresher course. So we do have um, the option to take our class just for the legal portion. Uh, one of the things that I like to point out um, is one, we can do that. We charge half, half of normal price and uh, you can just set in for the classroom portion. Uh, one of the big things to remember is that the laws regarding justification for the use of force uh, haven't changed a lot. So when you're justified in using lethal force for self-defense, uh, hasn't changed, that hasn't opened up. You're not more uh, able to use your gun in self-defense or less. Uh, those things are pretty much the same. So uh, don't assume that you have more or less ability to, to use your gun in self-defense. Thankfully, Missouri is very generous in regards to self-defense and pretty in line with what I believe are our natural rights to, to self-defense, but um, there's, there's no changes when they change the restriction for carrying uh, concealed on your person as far as when you can use your gun and when you can't. Any other questions? Uh, no, but John Morrison says, Happy New Year. Happy New Year, John. Uh, I'm planning to do more live interactive uh, videos, possibly some gun auctions that we'll do here online where you can place a bid, you can snatch up special deals. Let me know if you like that idea. Um, 
it looked like we got a flurry of thumbs up when I said that. Um, why don't you guys comment your ideas for live uh, gun shop uh, type videos where you can interact and make purchases online uh, right through the feed. Tell me if you have any special ideas for that or uh, if you like the sound of that. Also, we're going to be testing uh, different equipment as far as what we use camera wise to go live. And uh, we've had some issues before with certain cell phones not having good uh, audio. So, how's the audio on this particular clip? Can you hear me okay? I know sometimes there's background noise, but um, if, if you can at least hear what I'm saying, that puts us ahead of some of the other Samsung phones that we've been using. Can you hear me okay? Uh, anything? Jerry Murphy says good. Good. Glad. Thanks, Jerry. I appreciate you being here and watching. Is there anything uh, else that I could show you guys product-wise? We'll just take a walk around, and if you guys see something in the case behind me, or you want uh, you want to look closer at a gun, just holler. Ever, uh, we got a few people saying they can hear you fine. Good. Good, I'm glad you can. Uh, another thing, I mentioned the green tags are, are used guns, which are eligible uh, for layaway, just like uh, just like new guns. But we also have our consignment guns, which will be labeled with a yellow tag. These are guns that we're selling on behalf of uh, our customers. When you bring a gun in on consignment, we help you establish fair market value. So we want to be realistic. We want to make sure the gun's really going to sell, but we want to get you the most for it. We don't want to sell it under what it's worth. And so we've had tremendous success. We've sold hundreds of guns on behalf of our customers. We take the gun in. We take really good high definition photos. We write a web description. So if it has facts that go along with it, or we know the year of manufacture, we help establish that. We write a description for it. And then we post it on our platform. Um, we post it on Gun Broker, which we are in the top tier of um, sellers. We're about to break into the top 100, so we're really excited to make sure that we continue to grow that. Um, that helps us reach people to help sell your gun. So now's a good time to bring in consignments um, and we'll help get them sold for you. Scott Butcher is interested in a new Beretta Combat 92 FS. Uh, wants to know if we have it in stainless. Let me check and see what we have. Um, you want to go on the outside of the case and I'll go on the inside. Sorry, we're doing the video. You're alright? Um, we do have the Inox. So we have the Beretta 92 in stainless right here. Does that kind of look like something you're interested in? He says compact, sorry. Oh yeah, yeah that's right, you did say compact. I don't know that I have a compact in stainless at the moment. Um, I can certainly get one. Let me double check that. I don't have the the compact in black or stainless right now, but uh, he did ask if that was the compact version. I'm... No, this is the full size the Inox. Um, I would make somebody a really good deal on that. I was able to to procure this one from a buyout deal, so I have a little more ability than normal to make a bargain. So if you're interested in this stainless 92 FS, come in and. We'll talk about it. But. Got the uh, M9A3 here. That's something that we generally keep in stock. Uh, we had some of the Berettas on sale, so we've sold through a lot of those. But uh, come in, we'll talk about special ordering that compact stainless. 
Uh, some of those compact 92s are hard to find, but we'll dig one up for you. We've been pretty successful about finding some of the hard to get. Inventory. He wants to know how many are in the mag of the full size. I think this is going to be 15 round mag, so 15 plus one. 16 total capacity. Mandy Howard says, hey guys. Hey Mandy, how are you? So these guys. got a case just dedicated to 1911s here. We've got Wilson Combat, Dan Wesson, Springfield, we've got Iver Johnson, Ruger, Ed Brown. Uh, we got everything from your price point, Rock Islands. All the way up to Nighthawks. Scott says thank you, by the way. Thanks, Scott. I'd like to talk to you more about the compact Beretta if we can. We've got to show off the Nighthawk case. Uh, Scott Leal uh, says you need to do more bulk ammo sales. More bulk ammo sales. I agree with that. Um, sometimes we have difficulty sourcing it in a way that we can do that but I'm gonna work on that I'm gonna dig up some new sources this year and uh, try to make that available to you and be really super competitive um, I've marked down some of these cases of Aguila uh, we're showing them for 219 I'm gonna do them for 179 while supplies last just because that's uh, actually below cost, but some ammo prices have dropped. Gun and ammo prices have dropped in the last two years. And so I'm gonna mark that down below cost just to move it. So if you want a case of nine millimeter, I'll do it for 179. And uh, we'll clear this out, try to bring in some of that lower price stuff. So keep Dennis, shooting. Sorry. Dennis wants to know if we carry diamond back. We do. What, are you looking for a diamond back pistol or an AR? Well, Dennis, I'll show you both just to cover it. <laughs> but real quick, while we're here at the Nighthawk case, uh, Nighthawk Custom is arguably uh, the nicest or one of the nicest uh, 1911s on the planet. They are made from start to finish by one gunsmith. So each of these guns. If you were to take the, the grips off, you'll see a set of initials, and that belongs to the gunsmith that made your gun. And you can actually contact the factory and talk to the guy that built your gun start to finish. And uh, as you can see, we have one of the largest selections of Nighthawks in the country. And uh, we uh, be happy to talk more about this. These are made not too far from here, down in Berryville, Arkansas. And uh, a lot of times people say, well, you know, what's so great about them? Why do they, uh, why are they so much more expensive? And then they feel them and feel the slide and uh, how smooth they are. And they understand that those being hand fitted start to finish is, uh, shows when you feel the gun and hold the gun. Uh, Dennis, clarifi Dennis clarifies as a pistol. Okay, yeah, I've got a couple different kinds of Diamondbacks. Let me do it slide past you. Good, how are you, sir? Oh, I'm gonna jump to two other things before we get to the bread up back to, um, or before we get to the Diamondback. A couple compact Berettas here. These are 380s. This is the Beretta 84 Cheetah. So they're kind of a hard to find um, little double stack 380, pretty smooth shooting, got a 13 round mag. And then we have a used one as well. This is an older version with the wood grips. This one's 499. So you can put this thing on layaway for a hundred dollars. Um, send us a message. We'll send you the link to this, 
or you can just go to uh, libertytreeguns.com, type in cheetah, should bring this one and the new one up, and you can uh, grab those, put them on layaway or anything if you'd like. Okay, Diamondback pistols. Both of what I have are the carry size. Diamondback also makes a full size pistol, but uh, let me find this. I know I have one here somewhere. I just showed it to There's somebody one right on here. Saturday. There it is. I've got the Diamondback 380, the DB 380. It's really slim, compact, has a finger extension. He uh, says he has the DB 380. Wondering about the DB 9. I think we have the DB 9. I'm gonna grab it out of this case and then meet me at the third computer because we're gonna make him full twirl. Make him full twirl. There's the DB9. It's a little bigger, obviously, than the 380, but uh, not a ton. Still one of the smallest 9mm on the market. Uh, probably one of the most compact nine millimeter guns that we have in the store. What was his name again? His name was Dennis Lesh. Dennis, I'm going to do a special price for you on the DB9 if you claim it um, just for watching the video and, and uh, participating in what I hope to be one of many more live gun videos. Tina Stanley says Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Tina. All right, this DB9 is 279 normal price. And just since you watched today, and you inquired, uh, I'm going to do this gun for $199. If you decide you want it, just remind them that uh, I gave you that special price for participating and commenting. Uh, really appreciate you, so come in, get the DV9 if you'd like, but do $199 on this one uh, for you, Dennis. Uh, James Henry would like to know what your favorite 22 pistol uh, that you have in the store. Okay, uh, I'll show you a couple different things that I like. Jamie Calloway, my dad. Put this back real quick. I'm gonna sneak past you, Billy. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna answer James's question in two parts. It was James, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, James. I'm gonna tell you my all-time most used and have to say favorite uh, 22 pistol. And then I'm going to tell you what I would buy for myself today, uh, if I could, one that I don't have yet. Uh, but the all-time most used by Liberty Tree is definitely the Ruger SR-22. Uh, this gun is an absolute trooper. It's the one that we use in our concealed carry training. 
and we use 22s so that uh, one new, new shooters will be comfortable and just for the cost of ammo for the number of students that we put through the class. Uh, I've tried all kinds of different 22 pistols from the Walters to uh, some 1911 styles just to try to add variety and while there's a lot of good ones out there that function good they're a little more finicky on ammo they want the CCI and, and some of the higher pressure rounds to make sure they cycle reliably, where the Ruger will chew up just about any bulk ammo that you want. Uh, these are around the uh, 379 price point, from, from about 350 to 379 However, I have uh, about a dozen different colors and variations of the SR-22 on the way. I mentioned that I did some of the Ruger stocking order with the revolvers. Got a bunch of those in, and we're probably going to run some promos and specials. Out of all the guns that we have in the safe at home, when we get together on a holiday, Thanksgiving or Christmas, and we all go out and shoot, um, that gun probably gets the most use because it's fun for everybody, but it's really good for new shooters and uh, people that are just getting used to it. And of course, 22, it's cheap to shoot. That's my all-time favorite 22 pistol. But if I were gonna take a new one home today, it would be the Smith & Wesson Victory, the Performance Center version. So this is the carbon fiber barrel with the Vortex optic on it. The Victory has sort of taken the, um, the rimfire target market by storm. I think what Smith & Wesson looked at was what were all of the changes that people were upgrading their Rugers, um, especially Rugers, to, um, to do. So they've taken that and incorporated a lot of those features. You've got the extended mag release, um, and the thing is, uh, comes out so smooth. Don't have to worry about having to strip those mags out. Vortex optic, the uh, performance center target trigger. This muzzle brake here, of course, threads off. So if you're running a suppressor, uh, you can uh, you can just thread that off and thread your suppressor right on. Um, so the Victory Performance Center would be my option of what I would take home and have some fun with. I'm going to have to sell a few more guns before I can take one home for myself this year. So, uh, we got any other questions in queue? Uh, yeah, Scott uh, wants to know if you have a 1911 XDC X9 from Wilson Combat, and if so, what's your opinion of it? I don't think we do. Um, just have a limited... I think three or four Wilson Combats um, in stock. Thank you. Any proper Good. How are you? Good. Um, I don't have any nines in the Wilson Combat line right now. I do have a pretty cool Super Sentinel and 38 Super, but uh, I haven't handled that model of uh, Wilson Combat, but uh, I'm sure it's something that we can order. Uh, probably would be a special order situation, but we'd be happy to uh, look into that for you. Uh, Jonathan says he loves his CZ P10C he got from us. Uh, wants to know if we have any CZ P01s in stock. Let's take a look and see, and I've got a little bit of news on CZ. Um, in fact, you guys could probably help me out with that. But you go to meet down there. Yeah. And uh, we'll just look at every single CZ in the case.
James Henry says thank you. Thanks, James. This has been one of the most uh, popular CZs that we've sold. SP01 Tactical. That's in the urban gray. <laughs> this is my absolute favorite CZ in the building. This is the tactical sport. I don't think there's a better trigger in this building at Liberty Tree Guns. I, uh, anybody that I hand this, it's hard to argue with the trigger pull on that. Uh, this would be another one that if I could, I would take home for myself. Heck of a shooter target pistol. So, I think I'm gonna have to kinda keep my mouth shut on the CZ news. I don't wanna get myself in trouble announcing things before they're official. But uh, we've been in conversations with CZ and we think CZ is a great fit for us as a company. Their brand and our brand mesh well together and we want to start carrying more and more CZ. So, um, you know, you could always email CZ. I don't have the email uh, right now, but let them know that you'd like to see Liberty Tree be more involved with their brand or tag them on social media. Here's a CZ-75. Well, that's not too bad as far as selection on CZ handguns. Um, got the CZ 75 Compact here, uh, 75B Omega. This gun has gotten a lot of attention since it's come in. This is a, a used CZ 75. Does not look like it's had a lot of rounds through it. And it has uh, the aftermarket Crimson Trace grips. Activated there on the grip, of course. What was the model that we were? Uh, CZP01. As close as we're going to get here, the uh, SP01 Tactical. Uh, we are stocking as much CZ as possible. As you guys may know, they are having trouble meeting demand with production. But uh, the big announcement for 2019 on CZ is that they are building a brand new factory in Kansas City, Kansas. So um, that's gonna be dedicated solely to handguns, which we hope will mean that we can get our hands on the CZ models that you guys have been after that we haven't always been able to get a hold of. The Rammy, been a Rammy, Rammy, however you wanna say, it's been the uh, one of the hottest guns over the last year, it's a little double stack, all metal, um, 10 round compact carry. Those have been extremely hard to find. I'm surprised that's survived several days here. Did you need me for something, Keith? Take a minute and look around. I'll help you.
Okay, thanks guys. Sometimes I knew that would happen when I'm running some things we need to take care of, but uh, hopefully Trevor showed you around while we were waiting on that. Um, so just in uh, in sort of recapping on the CZs, we're planning on stocking more, and uh, we may get a very unique opportunity to do that, um, even more so than we have. But as you can see, we've got uh, about about a dozen CZ handguns, also stock CZ rimfire and centerfire rifles as well as shotguns. Um, and we'll announce more as soon as we know more on being able to, to stock more CZ. So hit the thumbs up if you'd like to see more, even more CZ in the store. Uh, I'm gonna show this off real quick. Did Something like that right there. The uh, TAC-14 in a wood stock. I've only got a few of these in the in the wood, but these are considered neither a handgun nor a shotgun by the ATF, it's just called an other, so you can buy it as long as you're 21 years old, there's no special paperwork, no tax stamp. We have a question in there? Uh, yeah, April uh, wants to know if we have a pink Uplula pistol? Uh, magazine loader. Yeah, I think we do, in fact we have all pinks and no blacks, and so... All the guys are giving us a hard time because yeah. they don't want to take the pink one to the range because they're insecure. Uh, okay. So what she's talking about is the Aplula um, speed loaders. I know we have some pink ones here. Or I'll be really surprised because. If we sold those pink ones, we sold them to some guys that were complaining that that's all we had. Let me look around a little further. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> uh, he's got at least our demo right here. You want to show it off? You know mm -hmm. how to use it? Yeah. What's your name, man? Nate. Hi, Nate. Nate, this is just impromptu. Nate was shopping and messing with this. He's going to show us how these work. Okay, so you, ha you put the mag in the way the bullet shows. And then you squeeze the top, you push it down, 
and you load the bullet in and you let go. So you can do that on a tabletop or a bench top if you want, but show us that one more time. Pull, pull a couple out and let's go slow this thing. All right. This is pretty cool. The bullet faces this way, so you put it in right here. So let's zoom in right there and go really slow. So as he squeezes in and then pushes down, and he's pushing down on the whole thing, and then that pops back out, and then he squeezes, it goes back on top, pushes down, and then there's not all that strain on your thumb. Sweet, thanks Nate. Um, so we're gonna hook Nate up with a freebie for helping us out. He was literally just standing back there and I was asking about pink ones and he's like, here we go. So uh, Nate, don't leave. I'm gonna hook you up with something for helping me out with that. Uh, now to answer the question about whether or not there's more, I don't know. Um, this may be the only one. What, uh, what model were you looking for, April, as far as what caliber gun? Nine millimeter. So this is double stack. I think it does nine millimeter and 45. You looking for single stack or double stack or do you know? You got a thick magazine or a thinner one? She, well, she just says her husband will come get it tomorrow if you find it for her. Okay, we'll try. And if not, we stock these all the time. So we're kind of hammered from Christmas sales and we're waiting on some of that inventory to come back in and replenish. but. We'll, uh, we'll find you one April and we'll get it in pink and uh, maybe I'll hire Nate to come in and show everybody how to use them. Uh, she says if you don't, please order one for her. Got it, April. We'll do it. Let's go away from the radio so you can hear me better. Carol says this is the best. This is hands down the best gun store in the four states, and Eli has done an outstanding job. Thank you, Gerald. Appreciate it. Nate, what size shirt do you wear? Yeah, thanks for helping me out. Appreciate that. All right. Would you? Well, we'll make sure somebody logged that out for him. You're going in the back, the ugly underbelly of Liberty Tree. So, uh, there's some guns from over the weekend that were needing to get checked in. Um, this is all trades or consignments or purchases that we've made that we're going to get. Um, we're gonna get logged in and ready to go. Let's see, it was the DV9 that you made the deal on, right? Yeah. Alan Griffin says that he'll take it if Dennis does not. Okay, um, I need to do a little checking and see if I have more of those. Hang on a second. spread the love around just for the sake of Happy New Year. Um, so Dennis can get one. Uh, Dennis, claim yours. If you don't want it right now, that's okay too. Just let us know so that we can uh, allow others to, to take advantage. We'll do uh, $199 for Alan. If we got another taker, I've got up to four of these. We'll do that while supplies last. We don't normally have them in a way that we have the ability to do that, but I'd be happy to uh, to do that for you. Let's see. Brian asks if we have any used traditional smoke poles in stock. Traditional black powders. Um, I'll go look. I do. I took a Remington 700. Black powder, certainly not traditional, but uh, I have a really good deal on a black powder Remington 700 in line, um, still on this table over here. 
it's uh, missing the uh, ramrod, but uh, we can either come up with one of those or we'll just sell it accordingly. But uh, that's the black powder that's closest to my hands at the moment. Let's go out there and see what we have. I'm not a big black powder guy. I'll be the first to admit that. So I don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to them, but uh, I can tell if they're older style. Uh, got some very old trap doors and old Springfield black powders. Here's an old, hard to believe, this is probably made. Uh, you know, in the 1800s, so whole century separates us and that rifle. Got the old Springfield trap doors, so Wild West, Quigley Down Under style. Um, got a couple of those in. This is a carbine, this is really cool. So, um, Took us a little digging to find out that they did make some of these trap doors in the shorter barrel length like this. Not exactly black powder, but uh, close. So breech loading, 4570. I guess a lot of those would fire um, some of the early black powder cartridges. Not a muzzle loader in the traditional sense. Let's keep looking for black powder. Don't have a lot of black powder on hand right now, so um, that's an area that we are exploring, expanding into. We've kind of wavered back and forth, which I hate doing, so um, hit the thumbs up if you'd really like to see black powder. Can't stock everything, but if there's truly a demand, um, we will we will educate ourselves and get some more of that in here. Uh, Marty wants to know if we have any 17 WSM rifles in stock. Um, it's a great question. So he's looking for the 17 B mag. I am gonna stock some of the savages in that caliber going into the new year. I don't know if we have any today. No 17 WSMs today, we've got some 17 HMRs. And while we're here on that topic, we could show the difference between uh, uh, between those. Maybe. Well, I'm out of the ammo too, so it doesn't do me a lot of good to try and demonstrate that for you. But, uh, 17 B mag or the 17 WSM is uh, a little hotter rimfire cartridge. Um, you guys are good to go. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, Have fun with that. Will do. Got a high velocity, good varmint. Yeah. Uh, Bill, will you log out a medium shirt as gave for donation? Mm -hmm. Thank you. The gentleman that asked about the uh, smoke holes says thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, sorry, I don't have more to show you. Okay, so I need to address the uh, the topic from the title of the video. We came in one day last week, and our Instagram account was just gone, totally shut down, and we still have not received a reply of why that is. To our knowledge, FFL dealers were permitted, both on Facebook and Instagram, to post guns for sale. Um, you know, guns on our site that are for sale, 
because it's going through um, the next system, the background check, following all the rules, but apparently they took exception with uh, our account for some reason, and it's shut down. So um, I don't know if there's anything that we can do at this point. We're going to try to get it back up, continue to post. Otherwise, right now, the home for all of this is here on Facebook. Uh, you also can go to libertytreeguns.com and click subscribe so that you can see all of our live videos, see our special deals. You know, I'm gonna do some impromptu things like find an inventory that we talk about in the video and making a bargain on. So we have the DB9s for $199 and I'll do that until we run out of all four of those. And I probably won't be able to replenish them at that price, but uh, they will be available at least uh, for those that have watched this video, you'll have the special deal. And I'll make sure I tell all the guys because they're gonna think that that somebody's making something up if they come in here and say that that they're gonna get it for one ninety nine. So I'll inform everybody. Any uh, questions? Uh, yeah, Rick wants to know if we have any sales on XDS or XD right now. Um, I I don't on the XDS, um, even though I'm pretty competitive on them. You know, at normal price on the full size XD. I can make some definite bargains on um, on the compact, basically the double stock models of XD. I've got some uh, some used inventory and new inventory that I would uh, make some special deals on. Go to LibertyTreeGuns.com, search XD, and uh, feel free to shoot me an offer on there. I'll uh, I'll look at those. I'm going to be going through offers today and the backlog of those and. Uh, see what we can do to, to make some deals and uh, there's been some trade proposals uh, to the guy that sent an offer for a gun and or uh, yeah. cash or Silver Eagles uh, You're man after my own heart trying to get me to trade silver So I'm yeah. really interested in that trade and I'll look at that today and uh, see if we can't get that done because I like to trade for silver when I can uh, James would like to know what home defense shotgun would you recommend? I uh, have always been a Remington 870 guy. Uh, obviously the Mossberg 500 uh, probably outsells the 870 or they're close. I'll tell you why I like the 870 real quick even though I'm going to wrap this video up. And, uh, got a couple of used 870s. The release on the 870 is up here. Um, not only did I grow up hunting with Remington shotguns, but I also um, spent some time at the police department and I formed the habit of going right there for the release. And uh, I'll show you where the release is on Mossberg. So on Mossberg shotguns, whether we're talking home defense, well, let me grab this. Grab this persuader. So the release is back here, um, and there's nothing wrong with that design. It's just I've formed old habits of going up here for it. So anytime I shoot a Mossberg, I'm kind of fumbling around um, looking for the pump release on it. But uh, either one is a good option. Shockwaves that I showed you both in the, the Remington Tac 14. Also got, uh, I think this is the Lynx AK 12 gauge. Something like this would make a very good home defense gun. 499. If you need an AK 12 gauge, you could get it on layaway for 100 bucks down. Okay, guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Um, appreciate all your questions. It's been a real honor to be here since 2015. We've grown from, uh, we've, we've tore down walls three or four times now, and we've grown from uh, just sort of a little one room shop to one of the largest, if not the largest selections in the, in the immediate area here. Definitely the largest selection of used handguns and long guns. Um, 
remember we're always buying used guns, so if you've got something you don't shoot, you'd uh, rather turn that into cash here after Christmas. Come in, we'll make you a cash offer. If we can't get together on a cash price, we can always consign it for you, which will get you a little more net. Uh, you have to wait till it sells, but our consignment program has been super successful. We're about this close to breaking into that top 100 tier of gun broker sellers. So if we don't sell it in store, we'll sell it uh, online on gun broker or our website. So uh, if there's one thing I would ask for 2019 is bring in your guns to sell, trade, consign. You can look through as we pan across and see we got some holes in the wall uh, and in the display cases that we need to fill with inventory. So. Bring in your used guns. I'd uh, we'll be happy to, to make you an offer on them or could sign them for you. Any other questions we need to hit before we sign off? There's a lot of questions that looks like we're not going to be able to hit all of them. We'll try to go back in the comments and answer what we can. Um, I've got to really get in the back and get to work on checking in the uh, new and used inventory and going through offers, not to mention um, just ordering stock that I need to do for this week to make sure that we're filled up. But if I don't get to your question quick enough, the guys are behind the counter today and we'll be open um, until 6 today. We'll be open the rest of the week, normal hours. So if we can't get to you online, which we will eventually, we'll get to everybody, but um, if we don't get to you quick enough, just come in. You can look around for yourself. We'll be happy to help you. And uh, dude, thank you for a great 2018. Well, the industry was sort of struggling and gun sales were down across the board. We've continued to grow and that is solely thanks to your support. And I know that uh, that you guys are wishing us well and you want us to, to remain here and that means a lot. And we're gonna do so and we're gonna grow. And um, as I can release some of the information, the exciting stuff that we're gonna do, um, which I can't say right now, but uh, I'll keep teasing that until I can. Some really cool stuff, and we're not gonna stay at the pace we are now or the size we are now. We're gonna grow, and I'll talk about what that looks like um, throughout the rest of this year. So thank you very much. Uh, appreciate you guys, and uh, we'll go through and try to get all your questions answered. And we'll plan on going live again soon and, uh, and doing some more of this. Thank you very much. Happy New Year, everybody.